Hi guys, welcome to my new YouTube video where we give Eros, who's a Bichon Frise, a breed standard haircut. But wait a second, I need some Red Bull. Because I went to Coachella both weekends <laughs> and it was crazy. I'm so tired. By the way, Red Bull, if you want to sponsor the shop, we go through a lot of these. Okay, so I already brushed out Eros. You can check out the video where I teach the brush out and the matting uh, somewhere over here. I'm going to put it on the video. And uh, now Eros is ready for a bath and we can give him a haircut afterwards. Right, baby? Mwah. So this shower that I got, which I am obsessed with it, it changes colors when the water is in the right temperature. So as it gets warmer, the color turns from green to blue. And that means it's a very pleasant temperature for the bath. And it has this filter that you know, removes chlorine and all the uh, hard metals from the water. You know, we just like to make sure that our dogs get some extra care. And honestly, I don't even buy this stuff for my own home. <laughs> But I buy it for the shop. It's really funny to see how tiny their heads are when they're wet. Because you might think that this dog has like a big brain, right? But the brain is so little. That means that they don't think much. They just think about eating, sleeping, cuddling, and what else? Squirrels? This is the kind of thing that is very important to do at home every day. You can have like a little comb. Because some dogs, it gets very hard and it actually creates like a diaper rash underneath the this tear stains. I'm gonna start by using the Hydra Auto Neutralizing Shampoo. It makes the dog so clean and the dog smells good for like days after. And I start using, applying it first on the areas that are the dirtier because the shampoo can sit longer. So I'm gonna put in his paws. I'm just gonna be very carefully applying the Auto Neutralizing around the eyes because he actually has a lot of dirt here. And I want to use a shampoo that is slightly more strong cleansing agent so I can remove all this gunk around his eyes. Now, another thing that I do when I'm preparing Bichon Frises or white dogs that have fluffy hair, it could be a white poodle, I would apply the extreme shampoo in areas where it's stained and I will mix it applying the whitening shampoo. Why? Because the extreme shampoo it's a degreaser, so it opens up the hair follicles more. And the extreme shampoo that has this purple color to it would help to neutralize the yellows, just like when you do blonde hair, right? So I apply the whitening shampoo on top of the extreme and I let it sit for a bit. You say like five minutes, massage it, rub it very well. It's not gonna get rid of the stain completely, but if you do it every time you wash this dog, it will get better and the degreaser sitting on the face and on the ears will make sure that the hair is fluffier because there is no oils to pull it down. Now, if your dog is matted or you need some conditioner, you can put a little bit, but you need to be able to rinse it very, very well. On a case like this, I just don't even use conditioner. Are you ready, Eros? Let's go. Okay, so if there is water dripping from your dog, it means you need to towel dry more. No water dripping, right, Eros? One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is about the tear stains. And it's a complicated answer because it's not, it can be several things. It could be the tear, the, the tear duct that is clogged or inflamed. It could be the pH of the body. It could be the diet. Um, it's hard to pinpoint what it is. Sometimes people give antibiotics to the dogs and it gets better, sometimes it doesn't. Um, now, what we can do as dog groomers is to use cosmetics to try to improve that condition. And this is not an ad. Uh, this brand did not pay me to do this, <laughs> um, but I'll take the money if you want to give it to me. Uh, it's the IMV. So this is your same remover. It's a cleaning solution and a powder that you can apply every day to keep the area clean and dry. That would help a lot already to improve the condition. And you can use the micellar water also from Hydra that you can also clean with the dog's eyes every day. Keeping it clean will make it better. When you bring it to the groomer, there's not much we can do to solve this problem besides cutting the hair off. Oh my God, he's so hairy. <laughs> so air is a Bichon Frise, which pretty much means little dog with curly hair. It's a breed that is very sweet and it's purely made for companionship. So can't do anything, just kidding. He can do stuff. 
He just probably doesn't want to. <laughs> so now my main focus is to shape this like the official braid standard and take a lot of hair off with my scissors. I'm using now this curved chunkers, which helps create bevels on the dog. So in an area like this, you're when it's round or does not leave marks behind, they're more forgiving than the straight shears for sure. So what people don't consider when they take their dogs to the groomers is that all of these haircuts, it's pretty much a living sculpture. So people are like, oh my God, why is the dog's haircut a lot more than my hair? Well, first you don't buy or poop on the barber's chair. <laughs> Second, we do everything from the nails to the ears, to the eye corners, the entire body. And it's, we're sculpting something that is moving. Like, look at this. If when you ask for like a round face, we need to sculpt the sphere on sometimes a hair that is kind of straight or curly, but it's a sculpture. So that's the artistry of this profession is that nobody's gonna sculpt the dog the same. Each, every person has their own interpretation of the breed and the, the limits that they can push the haircut. And that's why I think it makes the profession so special. Oh my God, that took a while. I feel like now you can finally start working on the front part of the dog. <laughs> Woo. And honestly guys, Bichons, when the hair is blown like this, meaning so, so overgrown, if I do the most perfect scissoring finish that I can and we give him another bath, he will need another haircut. Um, my mentor used to say that at first, when you get a Bichon with a coat this long, you give a one quick ugly haircut, which of course is not ugly, but a haircut that puts the lines into place. Then we give it another bath, and then we, you can keep refining and refining to get the really good show look. But we're gonna get really close today. About the head, it needs to be a circle just like that little sign back there. Um, but it is bigger on the top than it is on the bottom. Sometimes I cannot do a perfect ball and I have to kind of do like a bell shape. So I'm gonna start with that shape and hopefully I can trim the ears little by little to get to the, the closest to a ball as possible. This dog had a lot, a lot of hair. The difference from before and after is already Huge, oh my God, huge. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoy seeing me transform arrows into a fluff ball, into a nicer fluff ball. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and follow and you know the deal. I see you guys next week.